Hey guys, so today Garbu is recording, uh, so if my audio is done in, then you know what? Finally, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's it's come. You know what? And Garbu is actually going to be happy with that because no yeah, matter yeah. what, his audio is going to sound actually decent. So like, I don't know what to tell this you guys. This time I get to uh, win. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so today we're going to be doing something that I'm sure you guys are going to absolutely love. Well, I thought it was funny. Garbu was like, so what do you want to do with this? Do you want us to just talk or do you want to do the thread? I was like, well, I think we could just like bounce off the thread. And he's like, yeah, they're going to love that. It's like, can you guys just read the thread? <laughs> just read the thread! That's what we're trying to do today, okay? This is what we're aiming for, okay? We're doing it for you, Jeff. Yeah. Um, but before we jump into that, there's a few things I want to just bang out because there's been a lot of like minor updates and I, it's just easier if I do them all now. So first up, we got a complete new artwork for the deck of Trigger promos. They aren't colored in yet, but we've got all 10 of them. I'm going to flash them up on the screen. I think they actually look better than the older ones. Uh, the reason why uh, we were almost ready, but the main uh, artist uh, decided... <laughs> Yeah, well, the main artist uh, that was originally doing them kind of just was like, oh, I don't really feel comfortable doing this anymore. And then he just kind of bailed. So it's like, like, what do we do? We have to go back, redo all the cards. Hopefully, hopefully we will be doing, I, I'm aiming for the 1st of May for this crowdfunder to be starting. I really want that to be the case. That gives us three weeks. There's still a lot to do and I have to deal with a lot of Chinese people. Um, I've, I've been having this like small Chinese woman shouting at me. So I, James, where are our cards? Our cards ready? Where are the cards? I'm like, oh my God, please stop. Where are and our cards, white man? Where are our cards? Yeah. And then she goes to me, She, I, I'm not even joking, this was a while back. I, uh, she goes to me, in China, we set deadlines. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yes, in China, in China, we whip the slaves harder. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and China, I was, we can make our car faster. <laughs> yeah, look, we can whip them. And I thought that was the funniest thing I ever. See when she said that, I was like, oh my god. But look, she's she's more than happy. So uh, that's really, like that. There, who's actually like producing them first, and they're doing like nice boxes and whatnot. And they, you know, bar, bar <laughs> in, the, in bar, China, we said deadline, round eye. <laughs> bar, bar the bar the ominous threats. She seems quite lovely. So she does. Um, so that's one thing. Your car or, or else I find you. I fucking kick in uh, your door and I. I suck your wife. Yeah, the other thing, the other things I want to talk about is, I'm sure you guys are probably sick to your back teeth of me hearing about it, but the Bastard Princess, um, Lord Matthias did a blog post um, this, hold on, let me just get up the list here because there's that many people that have been, I've, I sent out the book to a lot of people that are actually dead on, you know, uh, you, would you believe it, how how few people that are lead, uh, within tabletop RPGs are actually like nice to talk to, you know what I mean? Like, Honestly, it's not surprising, there's a guy who lives near me, he's like some big crazy, hey, we should like, you know, you know, like, like I'll, I'll buy you a beer or whatever, maybe we can chat about stuff, he goes, nah, sorry, I don't interact with internet people offline, I'm like, wow. Rick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, he stubbed you pretty hard. So anyway, uh, RPG Pigpen, he did a blog post. Uh, Paddy, he gave a lot of feedback. He was, did a live stream and he was showing off the book. We Wheaton, also known as Diversity and Dragons, I went on. Also, Garber, you should go on. He's really dead on. I, I quite enjoyed doing that. He did it early for me um, because normally he he does like he does them at like stupid o'clock. But he did like a nice early one. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, no, it was pretty good. What you me and him sat and should talk for about two hours. And I quite enjoyed it, so I'll link to that. Uh, Lord Matthias did a blog post. Uh, Grim Jim did a video review, but I'm kind of I'm kind of legion. He missed out two, so he spent a lot of time talking about AI art, and I forgot to mention that the art the PDF was completely free, and we do have the paid for version. But for that, it was almost Grim Jim approved. Like he liked it, but it just he said he, he, he pretty much he says James, you should have just went full deck at it instead of like half deck. You know what I mean? So like, eh, fair enough. I almost what, approved. What involves full deck with the bastard princess? Uh, more bastards, more princesses. Yeah, pretty much. He said, "Well, look, like, go ahead, check out his video. I thought it was pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Because uh, again, thing is, like, you know, I know a lot of people hate Grim Jim and all that. <laughs> I feel bad for the fellow. Like, people really do not like Grim Jim, but like, I, I really like him. And honestly, when it comes to like RPG stuff, he, he knows what he's on about, you know. And then also, uh, he showed his story in. He showed it off. I sent him a copy as well, and he was showing it off on this week in Geek. And I'll link to all them down below. And let's get into this." Sorry about all those updates, but like I just kind of had to, and there's no other way to put it in. Oh, so like, sure let's jump screen. back. Your screen don't matter. My screen matters. Let's go. Yeah, no, that's. I was wondering why. <laughs> Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. 
So, TG, I need some help. I can't seem to find anything relating to a Walmart apocalypse setting. Google only turns up broken links. Help. That's very, I mean, that's, I that's, that. that's very specific. Like, Walmart apocalypse. Apocalypse. So, Burger Punk on Ilona. Theoretic right corn syrup. Mother of God. <laughs> What what was that one with the summer we love? Do you remember? Oh no, it was whenever uh, America was leaving um, Afghanistan. It was like McDonald's has fallen. Do you, remember, did you see that one? <laughs> I did see that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that one was good. Burger King uh, has fallen. And while we're on topic, uh, just while it's still fresh in everyone's mind, I just want to point to this p picture right here from the deck of triggers. It oh. is Lord <laughs> Matthias's one. You see that one, Garbu? It's actually like straight up Walmart here. <laughs> <laughs> the Tell me I'm long. The dungeon chariot. Yeah, it's good. Like honestly, you know the thing is that's actually genuinely better than most of the combat wheelchairs I've seen. Like, it would actually it would probably work better as a combat well, wheelchair. Funny is that I swear I've seen that exact same creature in a Walmart. The Dunlap, the shirt that covers nothing, the fucking dangling belly button sniffing roll that scrapes the ground for more food crumbs. Like I've seen that exact same archetype of person rolling also, around I will Walmart. I will say this was the card that made uh, the original artist very uncomfortable because I said, "I want, I want the, I want the character to look like Gorgok, the Destroyer." Make Have you ever seen Gorgok? <laughs> you said, "You said fatter." He's like, "What? I want her fatter." He's like, uh, I, I. "Well, I said I wanted her fatter, and I wanted people to be screaming that it was anti-Semitic from the news." And like you know, he was like, "Ooh, I don't know, I don't know." Uh, I'll just show you, Garbo. You're, this getting, you're getting awfully poetical, Nick Beauty. Oh no, that that there's the creature that I was copying from. Oh yeah, the one who sold fucking full <laughs> yeah. of herself. I hate this bitch. Yeah, dude. She's I know. So annoying. I know. Yes, man, because oh. I'm hot. Okay, they're Gorlock. <laughs> fucking truffle snuffler. Jesus Christ. No, that's, it's actually, you, you know the thing is, it's, it's a straight up character chart. Also, how does someone with who has so much goddamn body fat of zero fucking titty? How the fuck? I know. I know. Well, they they are transgender. Sad little flapjack titties. Well, I know yeah. fat dudes who aren't trying to have bigger titties than her. God damn it. Yeah. Look at you, so Nakata that, Avocado. <laughs> they, it's so sad looking what happened to him. But again, he got it all on himself. You know, like it's just sad. No one, no one fall. made you eat thirty-seven chicken nuggets in a row, bro. Every, every second, you dissed yourself. <laughs> he, he, he did it for the for the the YouTube ad money. Yeah. So <laughs> what I, what you what YouTube ad money does to you? <laughs> I put editing that one out. <laughs> yeah, well. So, like, I guess, I mean, when you think about it, every, like, zombie movie there's always been, or, like, a survival movie, they always go to, like, a Walmart or a mall. Oh, well, yeah, of course, like, Dawn of the Dead. But it makes the most sense. It's like, you know, where are the modern resources kept? <laughs> Here you, you know? go. So, <clears throat> well, then, well, here's what my fragmented memory can recall. Race of people that live up, that live up in the rafters. Very good stuff. <laughs> it's just Asmund Gold, the race. And then fucking Asmund Gold, the rafters. <laughs> Asmund Gold, need cars. nothing to do. More do. <laughs> Asmund Gold, actually. You know what really bothers me? I, I used to really, really enjoy Asmund Gold. I used to watch a lot of his clips and whatnot whenever I was playing... Um, World of Warcraft? Yeah, Classic Woo. I, I leveled a... I, I got a warrior to best in slot pre-lead, and then once I had, like, pre-lead, or lead and only, it was like, mate, this is boring as sin. What am I doing? You know Asmund Gold lied to me. Asmund no, Gold lied. I, 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 liked, I liked the rest of it, you know what I mean? I really enjoyed Classic Woo because, again, whenever I actually played Woo when it first came out, I was I was quite young. You know, I was like 10 when it first came out. So, like, I wasn't very good at the game. I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, but it was it honestly like, it was like, you know what? This video is not about me talking about World of Warcraft. Let's keep going. We've already meandered enough. I, I will say, though, I think that Edwin Gold's an absolute fucking creature. Yeah. <laughs> I've yeah. never liked him. Like, you fucking king of the neck beard. Shut up. Uh, you know what would make big, big views? I'm not even joking. See, like, mm. Megan's really into, like, cleaner TikTok. So she has, like, she's into all that. This does not stuff spark her. joy. <laughs> that yeah. <laughs> like, Megan like, loves to watch, like, people, like, doing all this, like, mad cleaning stuff. Uh. Honestly, see one of those channels, go to Asmongold's house and do, like, a honestly, I would watch a Hoarders episode of Asmongold. Of, like, the, the gut night is... It's just, like, barrels hair. of fucking Mountain Dew cans and, like, fucking milk bottles. <laughs> Man, it's so bad. Though. Like, look, look, let's just keep going. I can't. I can't. So, yeah, yeah. but well, literally, when, when I think of a race, race of people that live in the rafters, I think of Edmund Gold. So I think of cult, of, yeah. cult of the smiling face. Bunch of people who worshipped Walmart's logo. I could see that actually. Oh 
yeah, yeah. Oh, me, you know what it'd be like? Fucking, you could get a cult of Nirvana. Think of all the Nirvana t-shirts. Well, well, you literally like you think of like most cult aspects, like the like the children of Adam. They find a thing and just fixate on it. And I could see like people mentally breaking and trying to find something to adhere to, and seeing that big old smiling face. He's so happy to see us. But then you got like. <laughs> A, like 400 people wearing smiley face plate masks. Yeah, no, no thanks. I'm out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, what are you talking about? We get we get all garp as anonymous. We are we are legion after all. Oh, oh me, no garp. <laughs> you need you need to watch it. You need to watch that documentary about four chan. Yes. On Netflix. Oh, yeah, what it was you funny. <laughs> oh, I mean, it was so good. It was funny as anything. Like I was like, just oh, like these fucking idiots. <laughs> just kind I was kind of all I'm saying. All I'm saying is, uh, they definitely find. <laughs> look, um, I, I feel like they get all. They, all they give you was like half truths. We're I trying guess. to find the hacker anonymous. Yeah, it was actually the ridiculous. And also, all I'm going to say is that blonde fell at the end. Um, that was in it. Like all I'm saying is, so he uh, he may or may not have been getting charged with some very serious ac accusations, and then suddenly they all went away, and then suddenly he decides hey, I'm going to go find everyone from January sixth. You know what I mean? Yeah. All, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is mm, sketchy stuff. Like mm, uh, mm. okay. <laughs> Very interesting. Very, very. Look, I'm not. I'm not going to bring up what his charges are. You can look that up yourselves, guys. Okay, that's all, that's all I got to say. Look, let's just keep going. So let's see here. So the cult of the smiling face. That's probably the most post-apocalyptic Walmart thing I've seen so far. Self-stocking and self-sufficient store. Uh, I mean, that's already. Well, you know what? In 2009, that would probably have been sci-fi. Now it's now it's. It looks like it's going to be the thing. Do you not see that actually in America? I think it was. Uh, Texas, I think I can I can't remember exactly, but they've got a completely self automated uh, McDonald's now. So they do. Is it really? Yeah, no, no employees, no nothing. It's kind of mad. You want a pay raise? I. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Mate, what do they expect? You know what? You know, oh, you know. Oh no, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to start talking about money. This, okay. this video is about Walmart, which is about which is about money. My mind's of like the fucking giant Costco in uh, in. Uh, uh, it, it, idiocracy just a giant like Costco it was like a part part building part like city I mean like let's be serious Welcome to Costco we'll go. I love you <laughs> Like, you know, look, look, look at how Amazon is moving into, like, health and stuff, like, you know, with medicine and, like, you know, they've been doing all that stuff with doctors. How long do you reckon it's going to be before they start doing ap apartments? I mean, the thing is, is, like, we're supposed to be, hey, well, less, that, like, that, here in the U.S., we're supposed to be, like, like negating monopolies and we're not, not doing that. I don't know what's going on. Like, hmm. <laughs> well, all I'm saying is, like, COVID definitely sped up the process for monopolies to completely not, not really take over. You know, all we part are. of the plan. Yeah, unironically, um, the the system is not broken. It's working as intended. <laughs> it's working perfectly. They have it's to put on my tin foil hat for this one, boys. Mm. Yeah. Oh, can't talk about that on the ship, of course. Yeah, can't talk about the shadow government. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's Keanu conspiracy theory. Shadow was a money gang. We love casting yeah. spells. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I fucking love that video, dude. Ruling yeah, class cool. may have been managers or something. The ultimate power fantasy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God, middle guys, you, you, you talk to the manager, it's like a, like, a, like a Burger King crown on his head or some shit. <laughs> I am the manager! I only accept this manager if he goes on an airplane with his Burger King hat on with a red bandana. And screams <laughs> slurs. <laughs> yeah, that's my, that's the only king I follow. <laughs> I, I, I find that video so just fucking weird. You, you, like, you see, it's, it's really weird. Like, like his, his face goes, hmm, slur. I was like, oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. what, like, what happened, my dude, at that fucking airport yeah. that made you this way? Honestly, like, airports are stressful. Uh, I'm not a fan yeah. of it. Like, when, is, when has anyone been like, oh, I love I love hanging about airports. There's something about them that just cause absolute like well, anxiety. There's a reason for that, and it's basically because everything is temporary in an airport. Everything is temporary. Everyone's coming and going. No one's staying. So it's literally a place of trans, like like, like like literally of transition. Like where you're going from one to another. Nothing stays. Everything goes. And it's why it's such a fucking weird feeling there because nothing is permanent in an airport. I feel like you were going to go into like an esoteric rant about like Stargate SG-1 I, or I was, something. I got close <laughs> to saying something. I was like, no, no, nope, don't. Okay. I gotta hear chat. <laughs> Fucking talk about the goddamn video, girl. <laughs> so, so let's see. So that, that's a pretty good start though for for like that like a setting for that one though. Yeah, I could see metal management taking over. Yeah, <laughs> the, ult the ultimate power fantasy. I am the manager. <laughs>
So no one knows what year it is. The calendars have all been stuck on 2032 for as long as anyone can remember. Probably a virus. A coughing virus, perhaps? Mm -hmm. This much is certain. Whenever, whenever a business fell, Walmart was there to replace them. The Detroit auto industry was first replaced with Walmotor. Oh my god, this is, it's, just Am it's just Amazon. Oh it's just Amazon. Who, who would have thought, like, honestly, is is Amazon bigger than Walmart now? I think uh, it is. Yeah, it is. Wal like, I think Walmart has more, has more actual stores, but I think... Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, who makes... No, actually, no. no, no I'm not going to pull it up. That'd be fucking... That'd be way, way down a huge rabbit hole. Yeah, <laughs> we'll no, do, it's We'll do that work. later. If you want to know, Google for yourself and say down below. Um, the Detroit auto industry was built by Walmart, then came Walton Electronics, Wall Vault Power, the Wall Apartments, Wall State University. <laughs> like, it sounds funny, but it's like, if you put Amazon in front of that, it doesn't sound very funny anymore. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Somewhere in the middle of that, the governments of Earth began to fall no one really noticed the wall was ever was everywhere by then the wall was everything 400 feet in the air the white girders of the ceiling gleam above a flicker of movement catches your eye one of the top dwellers you've never understood what they see in living up there oh sure there's less stalkers but it makes it, it makes it hell to make supply runs you've got your rascal out hot wired of course <laughs> It's literally a fucking burger punk. I like it, honestly. I, I like got it. my jailbroke rascal. <laughs> you know, <laughs> can you imagine uh, you needed to um, do like drag races down the aisles with your shopping cart? You, you, you making, no, making, no. making screeching noises and you go in the corner and go, Wee! no, no, <laughs> you, you laugh, but in Oklahoma. Right, what are they doing in, in, Big City, in Big City, Oklahoma? We uh, we would get bored and we would go to Walmart. And we would do drag races with the uh, the um, like built like mobility scooters, but we have like guys <laughs> throwing shit in the aisle to try and block us off. And it'd be like two a.m., so they would just hear us screaming and a sound of merchandise hitting the ground and shit like coolers and all that. Or we would go Start and the tar guys are going or, or, or we go get the fucking BMX bikes from the. Uh, Sport Center. We do like Walmart BMX, yeah. and we mostly literally just bounce off shelves and shit, and like ruin displays. It was not my best moment as a kid, because <laughs> I'm like to be. Oh, no, go 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 go. go. To be fair. Uh, to be fair, like I think I, I did. Well, it wasn't. It was kind of similar. So we 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 we, uh, we went to Smiths a few times when I was in tech. <laughs> Yeah, it's toy shops. What oh, okay, it's like gotcha. Smith's Toy Superstores. Uh, it's kind of like you know one of the like big toy shops. Anyway, anyway, they sell like yeah, these like we motor things, like we uh, like jeeps and stuff. I'll send you a video. Actually. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah Little motorized yeah, well, cars, yeah. Yeah, we want them, and we just we would get on them and drive them down the shop, and then they shamed us and told us to get out. It's like, all right, okay, fair enough, fair yeah, enough. I think, the, I, I think the worst was when I, when I fucking whipped my friend Donnie through like the tire section because he had a BMX bike attached to like a little snow sled. <laughs> and I fucking whipped his shit into like a big old stack of like Bigfoot tires or some shit. And oh, all... no. <laughs> I was like, hey. Hmm. Nice. Makes sense. All right, let's keep going. Let's see. What so else you've got your rascal out, hot wired, of course, with the halfback cart and the locator chip fried, and you're on <laughs> locator chip, and you're on the way to the electronics department. You just hope that none of the other departments have declared sport on them this week. You don't sport? You declared sport? sport. I know. Wait, I like <laughs> that's good. Actually, you know what? That's that's good. Uh, you don't think you could handle that. Oh, sure, you've got your own sporting good at your side, a nice little solid-off model, but you're low on ammo and you just don't have the barter for more right now. Not since the last Never Grow week. You don't think you could handle that. Oh, oh, hold on. Not since the last... Ne okay, I got mixed up. Not since the late, late, the latest Never Grow incursion. Hmm. That's when you tell... That's when you hear the telltale beeping behind you. Gunning the engine, you... T Gunning the <laughs> you tear off in the distance as an, as the monolith with the smiley face roars after you. Shoplifter, acquire, restrain, acquire, restrain. <laughs> That's quite good. That's quite good. What what would greeters be like then? Like would they do greeters? Would like you know? I've never understood that. Like with Americans that do that. Like you know. So do you just have like a guy that like sits at the front of the shop that says hello to people? So. 
Yeah, there. So I don't go to Walmart unless I really, really have to because it is a horrifying hellscape of people. It's I, actually not bad. It is. Yeah, I I shop at Target and pay a little more to not shop at Walmart. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's actually that bad. Like it's actually that bad. Like there are guys high on ketamine just bent over in like the supporting goods section trying to shoplift. Like they take ketamine thing. Okay, I'll be super fast. I can steal this tent faster and it's not fucking gnawed out with a tent in their hands. And shit, Jeez. And, and then shit, and they, like shit themselves. Because I come to think. Oh, you go for it. Well, saying because at Target, you try to do that, they literally kick the shit you and throw you, throw you out. Because they have bouncers now, pretty much. Yeah, whenever we, I think it was one time me and Megan were up in Belfast, and I can't remember what we were doing, but we went to this like shopping center, and we were outside for for a fag, and there was two like homeless guys, like uh, they they were kind of gunning, but not really gunning, and they had stolen two Christmas trees. But this was in like January. <laughs> Christmas like, trees. Uh, yeah, they stole Christmas trees. Like this was like early, early January. At least like it, it was definitely after Christmas. And yeah, like you know. And then one guy came running after them, and then they just kind of looked at each other, and like one of them threw his Christmas tree, and then they both legged it together. But they looked like straight up homeless, like tweakers, you know. So like it, it was kind of getting me. I was like, what were they doing? Like, yeah, what was the so idea? Those those two guys you saw were the entire clientele for Walmart. Yeah, probably, not gonna lie. There's something, uh, I don't know, there's something about, the, like, you know, cr- what is it with America, though, that attracts the biggest pack of creatures, though? I, I don't think I, I see, I, I, on occasion, I see, like, you know, really fucking bizarre, like, how often do you see someone that looks like Brian Pepper? Who? Brian Pepper, Google it, just go on Google and type in Brian Pepper. Mm. Yes, you do. Brian Pepper. Oh. Yeah, that guy. This is, how, how often this is an actual him? person? Oh, it's an actual person. Yeah, that's a real human being. I, I thought that was a Photoshop. <laughs> no, that's that's actually a real oh, human being. Oh, I see. <laughs> how often? Like, I, I reckon I would see someone like that. Again, standard Walmart clientele. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right, like, there's, there's, literally, there's literally a site called People of Walmart. You know that, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me yeah. go on. Uh, people here, here. I'll I'll pull up some some of the uh, yeah I got. So literally, yeah. this is just. <laughs> the diaper is full now. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> Mother of God. So I guess if you're trying to find like a, like a, like a, a, like an NPC for your Walmart campaign, just go on people at Walmart and just <laughs> with the pictures. I mean, like, honestly, oh, my God. No, that that one's good. The one with the uh, the C3 uh, pot lid. Go to the next page. Go to the next page. Hold on. I'm looking at these fucking toenails, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the what the hell? It's like fucking uh, like oh. like those fiery hot Cheetos you put on your tongue. <laughs> hey, go go to page three. Go to page three. You're on page three. Yeah, go to page three. Trust me. They're sharing a mobility scooter. <laughs> Why is it not? Oh, let me just I'll send you. Yeah, send it to me. The the cat lady. That's three cats and a fucking pram. No, that's one here. Oh, there we go. That's her. That's her. The pot woman. Oh yeah. <laughs> The Honestly, COVID can't I, find me in here. Yeah. Honestly, I think it would work. Like, you know, like I, you imagine this person being used as like a guard. Like the guard stands before you. No, not me. <laughs> sometimes I think about. Sometimes I like to think about like what would happen in like, say, let's let's just hypothetically say that America was going for a guy like, civil war. Let's just pretend hypothetically, of course, YouTube that. A civil war happens in America. What what would people be looking like? You know, you're gonna have a lot of people that are dressed up in like their whole LARP. Like, I'm sure there's gonna be some people locking about in like LARP attire, unironically, yeah. like straight up like airsoft here. And there's gonna be some people that like you know maybe they they bring out their kids like old fucking like football or hockey gear. They end up with you know you end up with like a quite a mishmash. You know, it's, it'd be interesting to see. That's one of the things I really want to see. You don't and understand. Like, We're American. Huh. What kind of American? Well, do, <laughs> <laughs> but you don't remember um was it the summer of love i don't remember the boomer with the r oh yeah do you remember that guy I remember that, Robin yeah. Hood. <laughs> like yeah. that's what i want to see i want to see all the different like weird mishmashes and like, what was that guy doing there why did he just get out of his car and just shoot an arrow at someone like seriously i also that's what i would do i would i would just go back and see if you can find any of the live streams from the summer of 2020 and that my was how, what I would use my like, campaign around. I swear, like, these, these, you may think, oh, these are just out, outlandish examples. No, no, this is every fucking day at Walmart, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God, these absolute creatures. I remember when I they... went to a Walmart in fucking Louisiana, and I'm walking along, and I see a dude is taking a shit in the middle of the fucking Walmart. No. Yeah. Was he Indian? No, he was fucking Cajun. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> you have to, like, jeez. Well, like, this shit, what? you see all the fucking time, though. This is why, like, the couches are now, like, on a rack, so you can't sleep on them. <laughs> like, do they actually, like, why? How does that happen? Like, how, to be fair, though, like, you know, where I live, there's no, like, there's de- like, there's no homeless issue where I am. Like, you know, you, the, you'd see maybe, if you weren't to Belfast, <laughs> the, the double belt say, cracks me up. Jesus. Better, ke- better keep like, my cheeks in place. <laughs> like, when you go to your city, how often do you see homeless people? Like, I would say if you spent all day walking about, you might see pff, about three to five homeless people. No, I see at least 30 a day here. Yeah, no, we don't get that. Like, also, it's just not, and Dublin's wild, though. Dublin's really bad. Like, Dublin's got serious yeah. homeless issue, you know? Like, I, I I do yell at homeless folks a lot because they're, like, trying to walk. Like, get the fuck away from me! You know, because, like, I guess they see <laughs> the sticker. Like, oh, this guy's nice. He's got cartoon stickers. No, I'm not nice. There's a gun on my console. Fuck off, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, like, you know, that's that's another thing. Like, so we, me and Meg were in Dublin. Or not Dublin, sorry. We are in Edinburgh. And there was this Indian woman. And she was, like, la- she was, like, covered. Like, she was, like, laying on, like, cardboard and shit. And, like she had like one leg missing and she was like making all this like weird wheel and noises and all that and she like she like jumped out at us almost and like her, t- her wee stump was like twitching and all it's like mate that's I, i'm not her giving wee, you money i don't want to be anywhere near stump you. was twitching yeah it was twitching and shit it's like man if like honestly do you like a wee <laughs> dance for me or something you know what i mean like do something like i ain't i i'm sorry but like see if you give me the will i don't want to be away from me you. woman yeah like I feel, you know what? I feel really bad for a lot of homeless people. <laughs> but see, whenever they be like all creepy Please and shit, step away from me. Like there was, so uh, I was up in Belfast and I went to the Jiggy York. And beside the Jiggy York, there's like a, it's like an alleyway you have to go through. And like there was these bins, and I was walking along it. Um, I was a wee bit ahead of a few of my mates of smoking a fag, and this homeless fella just like leers out at me. He goes, like, he actually makes this noise with his bucket and shit. I'm like, I f- I'm not even joking. I fucking <laughs> and they're whacked him. Like, you, you go like jump, give me, give me the willies, man. That's all I gotta say. It's like, that is not how you beg. That is not how you fucking go about begging, man. All right, if you want to beg, I'm, I'm, I'll let you beg, but do not be jumping out on me because that's that, that's how homeless people end up dead. Okay, that's all I can say. Yeah, yeah. Like straight up. So what? Where would we go with it? So let's post apocalyptic setting. Let's say Walmart has somehow taken over. Uh, but how do they take complete control? I would argue you definitely need to be. Walmart has to be controlling the food supply. So it has to be like you know like all that conspiracy theory. You need well, to have a lot of fluoride. You need to be like poisoning people. You need to be people as gay and as weak and as feeble as humanly possible for well, them to be. Well, I wonder to is is like if their entire supply chain is automated from farming to production to delivery. Technically, if they go full automation, you could have. Like a, a re- like a restocking phase in every Walmart, where like say society collapse, but the robots mm. are still a robot and they're still doing mm. crop rotations and doing everything they're programmed to do. You could have an entirely self-sustained system that's slowly feeding these barbarian fucking humans in yeah. all these fucking WalMarts. So like. So the, the- Instead of controlling the spice, like who controls the Walmart supply chain? You, well, it'd be like the the Walmart's. Like there there could be times where you could have like you could expand this out quite easily to have like road raiders trying to intercept the AI trucks bringing in you know goods and such. Like there's actually a lot you could do with this, and it's not even like it's not surprising because as like you could do it two ways. If you, if you want to do scarcity, then the Walmart's are not are are extremely finite. You find like a raw a raw untainted Walmart. Ooh, it's still stuck full of Twinkies or some shit and you go in there and you rate <laughs> yeah. it and that can mean like it would give your your players the, a reason to move and try and source out or or, or try and sn- snuffle out the more rural Walmarts when you think about it Walmarts are mostly more, more a big rural thing like it starts out with a, with a little baby dollar general and then grows yeah. out to a Walmart and if you run out into the Midwest they're like even these like I remember like Glenpool is a little podunk town in 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 in, uh, in Oklahoma had a, had a big ass fucking super super Walmart and it was like a glowing oh, mecca in the distance you could see it like whoa oh, driving I mean, towards it so what what style what about like the what do you call that one in Mississippi is it the base the base pro glass pyramid oh the the the, the bass pro yeah is that what you call it? Yeah. You, you could do something like that. Honestly, that's that's the definition of burger punk landmark. Mm-hmm. Like, there's nothing better than that. Honestly, yeah, I, I still want to make a burger punk book. I, I've got so, so much stuff sitting there, but I've also got so many other things that I need to do. Uh, I only have 47 projects. I can add one more. Yeah. <laughs> 
like if you're if you're up for it, I could I could you know what I'm gonna wait because sci-fi gothic is done the lighting's done i just need chris to go over the editing for it and edit it all up and once we do that then i'm gonna i'm gonna adapt because again it's an adaptation of death march yeah how sad is that where an adaptation of death march is actually going to be out far before the mean <laughs> the action like the the system that i made it for is supposed to be oh my god the pain please make it stop so where would you go? So we got leaders trying to take control of the Walmarts. Um, again, are we going to have the Walmart family in here? Are they still going to be a thing that exists? Well, they they could be the Walmart family could be like a fucking uh, like a house thing, like out of like oh, out of New Vegas. They're all like basically yeah. ingrained like into their Walmarts, you know. And they're like, because say so, it's like a big thing collapses, like a big virus, Ooh, and it kills off a lot of the. Uh, you know, the inhabitants of the United States, then you could have the Walmarts in their fucking, you know, their, 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 their house-like status pods still controlling the United States and kind of still running things and having kind of a pseudo-empire. So there is actually a lot, there actually is a lot you can do with this. And what I think, in my in my opinion, um, what you should do is you, you should have it be where, like, if you want to have a constant game setting that's not, like, super scarce, you could have, like, the super centers, right? The really, really big Walmarts, because there are there are like levels to Walmarts, as dumb as that sounds, and there are sure. like yeah, because like there's like the the neighborhood. Actually, I'll show you. Like, I'll show. I'll, oh, I thought you, I thought you meant different floors. I was like, do you have different floors? Oh, you mean like actual? Yeah. yeah so so yeah, types would have that. of Walmarts. Yeah. Well, we've got like a task. Is like are we you can get like past petrol station. Yeah. Like, so there's like the Walmart neighborhood market. There is the Walmart discount score. The Walmart super center. Uh, there's a regular Walmart. Like there are different types of Walmarts you can go to. Um, Walmart Super Center, Discount Store, Neighborhood Walmart Complex, High Volume, Mid Volume, Low Volume. So there are different levels to Walmarts. You know, honestly, you could still adapt anything. Like you know, like say you want like a specialized store, you just add Wall or Mart to the name, and there you yeah. go. You know, that's <laughs> that's all you really need to do to make it work. Um, eventually, just let them take over. Like, you know, if they control absolutely everything, they want to have a piece of that. You know, if they're the only company in existence, then there you go. Make sure everything's sponsored by them. Lap the name and absolutely everything. Like, you know, that's the easy stuff. That's really, I think that's anyone can really adapt that pretty well. Well, so well where well, would I? Well, well, it wouldn't be hard to do. It'd be a lot yeah. easier to do, for sure. So what would you be a campaign over? So what I'm thinking is maybe again some fight over territory. I would honestly make this into like a New Vegas. I honestly think New Vegas would be a perfect way of going about it. You know, like maybe have it like set up where like different confederate tribes work together to control separate chains. You know mm. what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I would go for. I would mix. I would mix. Oh, uh, like like, like Mad Max. Like you could do like like uh, dynasties in the way. It's like the Costco dynasty, yeah. the Walmart dynasty. Yeah, you could do all that type of stuff. I think, and it would work really well. What tech level would you go for? Would you? I, I'm thinking near future. Oh, um, like I, I would say it, well, it, 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 could, it could be an absolute mix. You know? I, I would go. I would go more or less present day, but certain aspects are far beyond what we can do. So, for instance, um, a lot more automation, like machines do a lot of more of like you know least stock and shelves. Machines all that making stuff. machines, making machines. Yeah, I, I would. I would make that high tech. I, you know what you could do? You can make Walmart kind of like the Institute from Fallout Four. You could, yeah. See, you in, can make them kind of something like that. In, in my mind, I'd be like, you know, have it like where there are androids, kind of like the CIS, running Android facilities, and like make it literally and like like Android the phone, Android Android facilities where they're making more androids or some shit. And like say there's a mission, like yeah, you, you go and try and shut down this, you know, the, the, there's a rogue facility making bots of war now or some shit. Like an android goes, you know what? Fuck this, fuck meat bags, you know. So you have like far like 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 farming or or like or like harvesting droids, like. Would they? Would it still be like? Are we are we talking like nomadic peoples, or would we have settled societies of sorts? It would probably you know, be like, both. Like the more rural you go, the higher you go in the mountains, the more settled they'd be because you're safer up there. I would assume. Yeah. Because I mean, I mean, I'm sure you know a lot of a lot of electronics don't do well in really cold climates. Yeah, no, they don't. They don't. But like you know, again, again, that builds a really fun a really fun problem where if you're so high up, we gotta go down low to raid and get supplies. So you have like the mountain folk coming down from their haulers to raid the Walmart or some shit, you know? 
Because if the Walmarts are self-sufficient and producing stuff, then that means that they, the people up top are gonna, or up top in the mountains are gonna know, or in, or in the deep woods, whatever you create, no Walmarts have stuff they need, like ammunition or spark plugs or even tires. So you have like the people living in the Walmarts trying to handle raids from the outside, wall, the non-Walmarters. So you have like the, yeah. like, you have the cult members trying to keep the people out of the Walmart, trying to get in and get stuff they need. So you have like basically mini wars or mm, like. I, 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 yeah, no, I think I would go for like managers as like the equivalent of like high priests and stuff, you know, like uh, desperate Get monsters. back the heretics, they may not take our smiles, you know, that kind of shit. And you could do oh, that. The, oh, you know what would be great? Do you remember that video? We are, we are Walmart. Oh, Jesus you remember Christ. That one? Yeah, the, yes. the chants. <laughs> yes. So there, are actually, oh a, there actually are a few Walmart chants they do. Like there's like a Walmart. Hold on. There's actually a thing about this. Oh my God. No, there's not. Do they yeah, actually? Walmart chant but, uh all right so has to do the so actually there's a big walmart chant walmart employees chant um walmart fight song what is walmart's cheer the walmart cheer the talkative band so there is like a bunch of mildly like cultish things at walmart oh the walmart cheer here we go give me a hey, w give me an a give me an l give me a squiggly give me an m give me an a give me an r give me a t what does it spell walmart whose walmart is it it's my walmart who's number one the customer always that's like the walmart cheer hmm so would they keep the attitude towards customers would customers be like beneath them Almost, do you think? Would customer well, be like, I for think, lack of a better word, term for goy? Well, I think customer would be more like the follower. I'm a customer of Walmart. You are like the, the, the oh, chosen, yeah. the, the ones who are accepted. You're you're not you're not you're not a shoplifter. You're a customer. You could do a paneling of their customers and shoplifters. If you're not part of the Walmart cult, you're a shoplifter. If you're part of the Walmart cult, you're a customer because you're I, you're a customer of the, I, uh, of the of the great smile or some shit. Yeah, we we need you need to have a pyramid base for that. Definitely. They like, you know, at the top Pyramid of the base, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. And the bottom is like shoplifters, street sweepers, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the the Walmart the, the Walmart power triangle. Yeah, yeah, we could do something like that, but have like a cast system almost. Cast is like a cast of like the very top yeah. like, like the manager. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that, that would actually work really well. Actually, I we think I'm going to add that. bask in the glow of the great smile. Mm. Like, although, no, you go for it. I was saying, me, me, me and you could do this. <laughs> you could easily I write this I shit. Could, I, think, I think I could make it work. So what I want to do is, I'm, once I got Sci-Fi Gothic finished, I'm going to be able to have that repurpose it again, Death March or Sci-Fi Gothic, and repurpose it again, put it together for Burger Punk, and the girls are already there. Now, what would could the classes be? Because that's something that I was kind of stuck on a wee bit. Oh, so, I could eat, I could take that no problem. That'd be, that'd be no so issue. the classes I was having problems with. So one of the obvious one would be maybe like an IRL streamer. I think that would make for a good class. The bard, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much a bard class, but the IRL streamer. I'm one of their special. Hey guys, reading like, Walmart. <laughs> Let's go, <laughs> poggers. Be like, be like swatting or something. Yes. Would be one of their abilities. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe like once a day they have a chance of uh, armed security showing up to <laughs> take them away or whatever. That's you know what fucking, I mean? The fucking powers like call in SWAT and it SWAT's a Walmart. Yeah, I think you could make that work. What else could we go first? So like, you know, of course you want to have like some from a leader class, but how do we Walmart this? No, 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 no. It says SWAT. Call it thought. T H A W T. Oh yeah, there we go. The thought, thought class. <laughs> We can make that work. Smart. Jesus. And then managers. I would go managers as like a form of like clerk class of sorts. Maybe take me to your manager. Of course, you can make that into like, again, the negotiators, the deciders. You know, of course. I really like the idea of a Karen class, if I'd be honest with you, just because it's so like American and iconic. But I don't know what a Karen class would entail. Um, the only class Psychic that I've really... dealer. <laughs> oh, yes. I could, that, yeah, that would be a good one. The only... I have done the uh, crackhead, the crackhead I'm really happy with. So oh, the crackhead, the, the crackhead, ability. yeah. Yeah, the well, no, no, it was this. It was for Burger Punk actually. Oh, okay, finish. never mind. Oh, a, a little, a literal crackhead. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it was a little crackhead, and one of his his core ability was he could locate and obtain bicycles with an urban environments uh, very easily. It smelled <laughs> copper wire. <laughs> yeah, I actually copper wire and was one of his abilities nice. as well. <laughs> yeah, I put that in. So, like what? Are, like, so we've got a streamer. You could have a manager. Um, what else can we do? What would be like a generic, like maybe like a PMC, like private mercenary sort? But how do you like burger punk a PMC up? You know, where could you go with that? Corn syrup warrior or some shit. 
Oh, that could work actually, yeah. Maybe like, you know, something like supply, like convoy, armor, guard, I don't know. Or maybe just like, what do you what do you call, guys call them in what? America? What do you call them? Like armed security? Depends on what you call. I mean, there's simply armed security. Why say that weird? There's armed security, there's unarmed security, and then there's bodyguards, and then there's PMCs. And like bodyguards basically, you know, bodyguards cover a principal, and that's who they, they yeah. take care of. And then armed guards are just kind of on loan, whoever wants them, you know, and they're all qualified and shit. Yeah. So it's, it's, no, it's no like fun names, it's just unarmed guard, armed guard, bodyguard, uh, PI, and then PMC. That's, that's really the, the big, big four there. Because yeah. a lot of states use PIs as bodyguards, which is kind of, kind of weird, but it is a thing. Well, private investigators? Yeah. Well, I would have thought they would have been very different jobs, if I'd be honest with you. No, they... Like, in Kansas, for a long time, PIs were doubling as bodyguards for a while. Mm, I suppose... Well, it does take a certain type of characteristic to become a PI. You know, let's be serious. So, <laughs> where, what the fuck is that? You've been held for a fax. I mean... What was it? He was applying to flashing practice every day, I guess. So, I mean... So, <laughs> lesser rat man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely. We need we need well, little people. You gotta remember that under a Walmart or a bunch of like little tunnels and shit that carry like pipes and shit. Oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. So instead of like ghouls or zombies, we could just have diabetics. Eh? Diabetics. <laughs> yeah. I need just have my insulin. Yeah. So like there, maybe you can make like the like you know the undesirable class or whatever. You know, like the like the ghouls or the zombies or the general like. The, je- the the mooks of the of the burger punk set or the Walmart set would be just diabetics, you know, and that's what they're fighting for. He had too much like, corn. Yeah, yeah. So here, here here's a still from the movie the movie Idiocracy where it's got the giant Costco in the background. Yes, yeah. I need to watch that again. It's been out so long since I watched Idiocracy. It's one of those ones like I don't know if it would be funny if I watched it now because I, I thought it was funny at the time, but now I'm thinking about it. It's like uh, it might just be like premise that I liked more than anything. I don't know if it would work very well. <laughs> Do you guys like tabletop RPGs? Do you like waifus and husband foos in a colorful fantasy world? Do you fucking hate the ATF? Well, partner. Do I have a tabletop RPG for you? Based off of a book series that holds back zero punches, the Vill Rider TTRPG is a game system based around the use of both blood magic, spells, swords and spears, as well as a healthy dose of machine gun fire and grenades. All activities in the game are based around an action point system, a set of points that you both use and spend and regain to do things in the world, allowing you a huge breadth of actions both in and out of combat. The basic field manual boasts 17 playable races, both foreign and familiar, including gnolls, elves, harpies, and spider folk. There are additionally 19 jobs with unlockable skill trees, ranging from a newly turned local men at arms to gunslingers who have luck on their side and might just be your huckleberry. Ah, did we mention the war crimes? There are war crimes. There's a war crime chart. There's a war crime score. Yeah. Don't overuse the gas weapons and human shields or else local law may be a bit pissed. While the basic player manual or field manual is enough to play a game, there is also the combat controller manual that expands on nearly everything in the field manual, including nearly a hundred new spells and potions, weapons, beckoners, drugs, and all a manner of tools to use in the creation of the game. I also paid extra for hand-drawn art, so yeah, there's that too. If you want to be a dwarven machine gunner mowing down southern elves while blasting pumped up kicks in your ears via cassette player, then the Veil Rider TTRPG is the game you have been waiting for. Ah, shit, the Amatu found the Willy Peek grenades. Hey! Hey! Put that down! What state? It screams Walmart. Like, what is the most well, I mean, Walmart state of America? Every state has a Walmart. Like, it's not yeah, exactly. But like, well, yeah, but where, where do you think, like, Walmart? You know what I mean? Like, what, what, what state produces the most Walmart creatures? Does that make sense? I mean, it's obviously Florida. Let's be fair here. It's obviously Florida. Yeah, like, Florida. It's, 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 it's going to be Florida, any place around Disneyland, whether it's on each coast. 
honestly, and see, see when it comes Arkansas, to like the idea, of, West Virginia. See, see for like plot hooks and stuff. Honestly, just this is where it's actually cheating to make a burger punk setting. All you need to do is lead off um, Florida Man news headlines, and there you go. That is your <laughs> that's a, that's an adventure hook right there. You know, there's so much you can do with this, and it just works, man. I, I don't see why. Like, you know, it's just so good. Like, I, you I'm, know, I'm kind of shocked there wasn't like a big PDF in this thread. Like, it'd be like a really easy slam dunk to make a Walmart RPG. Well, TT RPG. I think- and I think people would really enjoy it because, like, again, it's familiar to the point of anyone can parody it. You know, and everyone you know has some form of horrible story about encounters in, like, shopping centers or whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be Walmart. I'll tell you my one. So this was a good few years ago. Um, I was up in Belfast for St. Patrick's Day. And this was before I had contact. This was, like, really a thing. So, like, I had to stop at an ATM to get for money. And the guy in front of me was absolutely steaming, like, proper steaming. And he goes up to the ATM, he pays, he, get, well, he gets his money out, and he just whips his, well, no, he goes, cheers me to the ATM when he gets his money, and then he just whips his dick out and just started pissing all over the ATM. And, I was, and it was like, he was, I don't know how he managed to actually get the money out of his account, because he was that drunk and he was actually managed to pull it off, but he ended up starting pissing all over the ATM and just fell over and was just lying in a puddle of his own piss. And I was like, mate, that's, that's good. I have to go find somewhere else. British moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no North FC. You know, okay, let's go, Anglin. Like he was so drunk, he paid the ATM and left. It was, it was fucking crazy. Yeah, it was. It was weird. You know what? I always love. I love those pictures of like weekends out in like British Isles, and they all look like Renaissance paintings where like, girls eating like kebabs, and like there's always some guy drunk and like with a cone on his head. Have you ever seen any of them photos? I am. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen plenty yeah. of these shanning as a good thing in England. Oh. I mean, it's England. fucking beautiful. So it is. Um, but yeah, so where else do you want to go? What else could we work with when it comes to this? I mean, literally like, anything. Like, it depends. Like, you could have, like, basically hex square generations of different areas. Because in, in, in city Walmart, will be different from an out city Walmart. Like, you, you, you literally change archetypes. Like, you have, like, children of the corn who live in the toys aisles in the fucking country Walmarts, <laughs> you know? You can have, yeah, you yeah. have, like, meth heads and skeeter in the fucking trying to tear out all the goddamn copper wire and being chased by a security boss or some shit. Like, there's all kinds of things you could do if you just sat down and really thought about what goes on in different Walmarts. Because the thing is, is I- I'm still stuck on the whole automation thing. If it is completely automated, like we're thinking, you could have like entire ranchers and herders, like ranchers of, of all the beef you need, all the pork you need, of all the chickens you need that are all robots, you know, and you can have it like where, well, you can either, you know, have it to where you can either raid the Walmart where everything's done or try and raid the ranches or the farms that are run by all these robots and try and gain an upper hand on the Walmarts and make your own kingdom or take over the, the, the supply chain part to a Walmart. Like you could do, uh, you, you could do both in, in like like on the ground adventure stuff or try and do city builder and control the things that feed the Walmarts. <clears throat> like or we were doing this. I I am I'm sick of talking about doing Burger Punk. We're going to do it though. Uh, I'm not even joking. No, I'm not. I, I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play Hell Divers tonight. Tonight, whenever Ozzy goes to bed, <laughs> like you work on. So, so I've got a hex map. You're still going to play Hell Divers. Don't lie. No, no, I'm not. Because we're no. Well, you know what? We're going to go on. Uh, I'll give you a link tonight, and we'll we'll do Burger Punk. So I'll work on the actual goals so I will mm. and I'll work on the classes you start working on the hex map I'll throw it up on screen for you guys to see have you, have you seen the hex map Barb? I've seen You've some seen of it them. yeah yeah like it's huge it's a each hex is about 100 miles I think we need to get started on it uh, honestly it, it's one of those ones I anytime I think about it it's so good it's so much of a fun <laughs> setting it could like, work so it well. It just writes itself. Fuck. It just does, honestly. And it's something that I desperately want to play myself anyway. So, you know, let me just make this. I think it would be so much fun. It would honestly be perfect. And also, it gives us room to do expansions. Like, you need to do, like, a Euro, uh, Europe exp- uh, you know, expansion book. You need to do an Africa. <laughs> the so second Mayflower need- arrives or some shit. Yeah. You ne- oh, me. Think of, like, and the thing is, you do Russia, but Russia could be, like, Stalker quite literally stalker the video game you know mm. like it's just like it's all like chernobyl radioactive wasteland and it worked so well and it, what would you do with south america though what would south america be like in this sort of walmart set would it It'd even be exist? rhodesia too there's no, there's no joke about it it'd just be the second rhodesia like because yeah. i mean because Afri- well, I mean, I mean, I mean, Africa, I mean, Africa wouldn't change much in the middle. Let's be. Fair. No, 
Africa would probably be the same. It would just be probably more intense with a less aid. It'd be you like a single trap going, you know, it's just less airplanes now. <laughs> That's all they would notice. Yeah. Like, hmm, less air traffic. It wouldn't be. I I would like to put in more cybernetics though. I feel like well, uh, post like, group with Walmart. I think it'd be cool to like have like a, like who's who's that one? Hold on, lion hunting tribe. Um, so like a like like a cyborg messiah guy be fucking dope as shit. I feel like the only cybernetics that would be really in use would be ones to help with work. So for instance, maybe like a Ouija implant that like you know you only need to sleep like thirty seconds a day or that you gets an injector. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like some form of like, you know, happiness pills type of thing, like automatic antidepressants already. Just take like, the your sadness thing. away at the great yeah. smile. You know, like oh, you, there's so much you could do with this. And I feel like what like there wouldn't be much in the way of like, you know, like when, when you think of like cybernetics, you think of like, you know, mantis mantis arms i just don't see that being a thing in burger punk you know i would put it in any i think i would put goals in for it anyway just because you know let's be serious everyone wants that but i don't know if it fits very well the real question I, is do we involve magic in a way or not no i would i would keep magic guide i would keep it to uh, no magic um i would just keep it to maybe technology that humans just don't understand because maybe like little gay eyes to a certain extent like humans just don't know how to think anymore you know and i i think we are getting to that stage already because a lot of people say that long-term memory is just fucked for a lot of people because you don't need to store long-term memory half as much because you can just look it up like everyone's got access to them not on their phones so do you really need to like hold in that information like you know even think like phone numbers do you know like how many people's phone numbers do you know garbage like, mine off the top of your head? and my wife's that's all that matters <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you know, but I, I don't like. I don't even know my. Sir, like, I'm sir where do you live? I don't know. I <laughs> know I live. Come here, I mean, no, that's you know, I get that all the time though. See people ask you me really? for a post. <laughs> yeah, no, we've been living in this house for like a year and a half now. I still have problems remembering the postcode for this house because I half the time I say the the older mm. the old postcode or my mom's one. It's really bad. I'm not even joking. Like the amount of times I'm like. Ugh. Uh, I can give you the address. <laughs> I don't know what the postcode What's is. What's your postcode? I don't know. Yeah. Right. We're, making it, we're, we're, we're making Burger Punk happen because the deck of Triggers is almost here. I really want Burger Punk. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Mind you, Garbu, you are going to have to come up with maybe a couple hundred hooks for the hex map. Hey, man, that, that's I, what I do, man. That's what yeah. I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's well. That's your area of expertise, anyway. I think I'm gonna have to redo this because I feel like the main document is kind of out of date at this point. I'm gonna like restart it yeah, and like nice. cut it up into sections so I will because it's kind of just like unwieldy the way it's been put together. But I think we could make this work. You know, will we we'll go over a couple states for like different ideas? I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, it could be work because you go all along from east to west and have different biomes with that with little issues. Yeah. It would kind of behave like Fallout where there are simply certain cultural characteristics that change mm -hmm. no matter where you go. The Walmarts stay the same, sure, but the yeah. people within them change drastically. So I would go with um, the people of New York State walled off a New York people. altogether. <laughs> well, you could do that too. I'm thinking New York is literally escaped from New York. Um, they've they've turned it into like a mega prison. It's just I a love Thunderdome. The idea. <laughs> yeah, it's literally just a massive Thunderdome rolled over by maybe like a mutated Baron Trump. That's who I would do. Who, who would be a better <laughs> character that you fit in? <laughs> what? Well, I Man, leave Baron alone. My God. Bard's funny though. Like Bard, Bard's like, have you seen him? He's like fucking eight foot tall. What were they pumping him with? <laughs> Only the best corn syrup, my friend. Only the best. <laughs> yeah. So New York, that's already that lights itself. Um, I would maybe have like a, a, a boogie man of Sam Hyde that wanders, like you know, he always New York. gets away with it. Always. Yeah, I, I, I really like the idea of that. So I would um, use some other stuff. <laughs> Yeah, you can make him like a boogeyman, like kind of like Mothman or what is, what's some other like Google cryptids in America? Uh, oh, me, we haven't even touched cryptids, and like, cryptids need to go in. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking not ma like, okay, technically, yeah, it is magic, but at the same time, it's maybe just stuff we don't understand. So we maybe supernatural elements, but the players don't really have access to that. How does that sound? I mean, we could just do like shamanistic magic, so you really want to get down to it. You can maybe put that in, maybe because they're because they're, they're going to want some some area of like ooky spooky bullshit, like whether it's like nanobots or what have you. They're, they're the players are going to want it. 
Yeah. All right. Where else do you want to go for? I'm thinking Seattle has to have that chop anonymous. Or what do you call that? Uh, that <laughs> the chop. chop. What do you, was that what it was called? Yeah. Yeah. Cause <clears throat> they call it a chop because because you're supposed to be chopping off the heads of the fucking bourgeoisie or some cringe ass bullshit like that. That's going in. That's perfect. Um, what would you do with Montana? Because again, Montana is very much like, you know, one of those like wilderness states. Montana would just be actually a refuge for hot for old. So you don't know this, but my wife lived in Montana for a long time. And she says nowadays, Montana is just a refuge for the rich. Like mm. it's, it's literally there are movie stars moving up. Like you go, people who live, who live like Bozeman and all that shit are pissed. Like the locals of Montana are pissed because they cannot afford to live in Montana anymore. Because you know, I think because a lot of the from according to her and her friends back in Montana, uh, the, the 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 TV show uh, Yellowstone like ruined the like the the the, the price market for Montana. <coughs> I believe. Oh my uh, God, I want to live there now. It looks so cool. And you have these people buying mansions and it's just jacking up fucking yeah. taxes and shit. I would imagine, like, honestly, you know, one of the places I think looks the nicest in America, I would say Oregon, but I would never want to live there. Well, the only problem is Portland. The rest, yeah. the rest of Oregon's lovely. The rest of Seattle, or sorry, the rest of Washington is lovely. Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Oregon are the giant festering cum-filled warts of those two states. All right. Yeah. Oh, what do you, what do you want to do with um, California? Now, is California just literally, like, sinking into the sea? I, <coughs> by God, or, there will be a fucking rift where that bitch breaks off and just floats away. <laughs> what would you do with it? Now, I, I feel like we need to do something special with California, because California is the most insane American Weighed state down America. by tons of human shit California yeah. broke away in the year 2042 <laughs> I think you could definitely go with that uh, there's a lot you could do with that now Oklahoma by, has to just be cryptids it's by, just cryptids by pure weight of used needles and, and human shit it overweighed the fucking landmass and it broke away now, Oklahoma would be a fun one because a lot of because be also a lot of natives there. A lot of natives in Oklahoma, Arizona, New Mexico, and I Me believe and we're talking about this the other also night. Also, Kansas. See, like when it comes to, like America, all I ever see is like you know people like don't get me wrong. They had a bad time. They had a really bad time. But like honestly, like the people that I would feel the most sorry for out of like you know, the people that have been shafted by America has to be the Native Americans. Well, like, they should have know, they... fucking lost the war then. Boo hoo! <laughs> Fight harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, no, yeah, but I do feel like they probably deserve, like, you know, when, like, don't get me wrong, yeah, uh, a lot of people like to turn them into noble savages, which, uh, noble, I don't know how far you could go with that if I'd be straight up with you, uh, the more I read about Native Americans, the more I like, yeah, these guys are actually, like, fucking Yeah, in, yeah in people like, oh, the, the humble, the humble, uh, honorable savage, no, they, they fucking scalp people with, like, fucking, yeah. no, they're horrible, they're, like, well, then, do you think, it, would they well, not, not modern, people? not, the, the modern, in the modern Native isn't horrible, all right? They're just fucking yeah. sap. Like, the people are called savages for a reason. Like, it's true. There were nice ones. There were, the Iroquois were nice. There were plenty of nice tribes. But the like Blackfoot and Crow, and they, they, they tend to tend to skew the the lines towards. I want to cut your head off and fuck it. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty much like mm, pretty brutal. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, where else could we go? So Oklahoma has to be cryptids, and I think you have to have a lot of like Native American leads. Like I would go straight up cowboy territory almost with Mexican. Like Oklahoma would be more cryptids. Texas Circle the nugget more. wagons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, that would be perfect. What would you do with Las Vegas? I would honestly keep Las Vegas the exact same. Las Vegas would just I, not even. Change. I think it would just be basically owned by Walmart. It'd be like, like they could be like Caesar's Palace, like Walmart Caesar's Palace, and all that. It being and like most of the things feeding in to the Walmart are all or nearly all feeding in towards like the, the the biggest feed roads are towards Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, that would definitely work. Now the math capital, the drug capital, has to be for me, Missouri. <laughs> Missouri is honestly, I don't care what anyone else say. St. Louis gives me the absolute heebie jeebies. The more like, people garner about Detroit, but nah, man, it's it's Missouri, it's St. Louis to me. That's that's the kingpin of places in America that I just do. Where would you say, Garbu? Where would you, you least want to live, bar like New York? Uh, fucking Louisiana. That shit just sucked. <laughs> Yeah, I would say that the 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 climate would do me. Yeah, for you can go to the, you can go to fucking New Orleans. Yeah, once you go, okay, never doing that shit again. <laughs> what would you do with the Louisiana? So again, Louisiana is so similar to Florida, but so different at the same time. It's, it's a, a lot, lot more like, feral. I'll tell you that fucking much. Yeah. So what do you do? Like maybe mutants? Maybe I think like Louisiana Giant is that? mutated crawdads. Mm. I, I would go for like a mix of like 
crocodile people mixed with like, the diabetics. people? Yeah, I would go for like maybe me. You know what I would I would G- go for? What giant all- crocodile walks up. I don't have any more insulin. <laughs> what, what what was the thing that Caesar said about the the British? Oh, like first it, 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 it wasn't the- Caesar, it was like his generals, and he was like high, yeah. ne- like neck deep in the fucking swamps and shit. Yes, yeah, can we yeah. not do that for the Louisianans? They would just like, oh, they would just hang about in swamps all day. That would be perfect. Um, Alabama, I mean, like that has to be like hyper redneck, the, not redneck. The, the, the fucking hills have eyes, yeah. Yeah, hills have eyes. Just literally the hills have eyes. The entire state would just be the hills have eyes. Well, I'm a core sees this Walmart, and you ain't welcome here. I think it would work really well. So it would uh, uh, Alabama. I don't I, honestly. Alabama seems quite nice, but I don't. Why do they get the the embed? Like, is it that bad? Is it actually a thing in Alabama? It's just a stereotype. It's just a stereotype. Yeah. I mean, Alabama itself is like I I I think they go a bit too much. Because like even like Arkansas, Arkansas is a beautiful state. It still has dry counties. Like get get over yeah. yourself. Well, I, I would like, say, look, they like, would... look here, Uber Christian. Jesus drank wine. All right, I'll allow the wine and at least fuck man. Honestly, you see, when it comes to the whole idea of like banning drink and whatnot, that's like, mate, I I am not just because other. Have you tried being it. sober? It's hard. Yeah, it sucks. Like, <laughs> I, I just can't be arsed dealing with like, see, it's just because other people are like shit at drinking. Why do I have to like, you know, what, what's the deal? You know, like what's 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 the issue here? You know, the idea though. No, but no, honestly, what would you maybe do? You, maybe you, you suck at drinking, bro. <laughs> what about like, what? About, can you do like white trash? Like, white trash? Would that be more of a background though, I suppose? Be background, yeah. Be background. Yeah, that would be more of a background. But one of the guys think like Embed, I think white trash. And honestly, white trash to me is West Virginia. Like straight Look, off, I would go. It's not their fault, or right. <laughs> what is it with people that live in the hills that are just really fucking mathy, though? You know, like straight up. It's man, it's it's a whole cultural thing, and they're basically their their entire economy got fucking waylaid by anti coal measures. So they're all kind of just the entire. To me, it seems like the entire state is going through a mourning phase still. Where like it's just. They're trying to cope with things they shouldn't be coping with, and it's, it's actually quite sad if you ever go in and like actually think about it. Like they were a huge like look, like look at the old the old pictures of West Virginia when they're the yeah. coal mines were running, and, you know. And was, ever, what about that? You ever see them people, the blue people that lived in West Virginia? Blue? You ever heard of? Yeah, let me Google this. So blue family. I know there's like the most inbred family in the world lives there or some shit. Yeah, the blue F- Fargates. Uh, oh, so oh, that's them. Okay. You know, they were actually like real people. Yeah. Um, I'll just send you, and you can get an idea. Uh, oh, so, sorry, sorry. The the Whitakers. So I think. So I think of the the fucking Whitakers. Mm, I think I think they had some from like. Blue oh Poison no no no! From? That's from Silver. That's from Silver. Is that what it is? Yeah. So I'll I'll put it on the screen for the chat. So when this happens, um, you when you you get more too much silver in your blood, you'll turn blue. Um, mm. I'm pretty sure it's what what it is. So Appalachian history. <clears throat> like, what would you? Oh no, you go, you go. So, dun, 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 dun. Uh, so they get kind of a bluish tint, and the thing is, you can kind of fix it. But it's something gets in your. It's it's, it's a mineral that gets in your blood. Uh, let's see here. Or are they just, or are they just naturally blue? Yeah, it's, it's something to do with like crabs of blue blood because they they they. So our blood is based on co- an iron, which it makes it red. But if you have like. If it's based on copper, then you have blue blood. That's where it comes from. Like, you know, it's like um, shell, shellfish have blue blood still, so they do. Mm, well, uh, uh, like, really, really crab, do I know that much. Yeah, yeah, they're the ones I'm thinking of. Um, what would you do with Atlanta? So Atlanta, I would make it like trashy rapper central, you know? It, like, it's not Atlanta, it's Atlanta. Like, it's Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta. Well, what would you do? Would you go for I would go like trashy, like sound crowd rappers. Like mumble rappers, the whole lot. This entire state's un- it's unintelligible. <laughs> yeah, I would just go hyper. Like, if there's one place that I think of like mumble rap, I think Atlanta. And what other factions can we put in? Come to think of it, so like, yeah, okay, you've got your obvious ones. Like, you know, I think you d- you gotta do sports teams. You gotta have <laughs> the seven degrees. Well, that'd be like basically I mean, like like sub religions of like it'd be, it'd be, it'd be like Catholicism because you have like I worship NFL. Okay, which one? And be able to go in and like, well, I'm a huge I, I, I worship the Saints because basically you think about it, fanatic. Fanatics are just mini, yeah. mini, like mini fanatics. So you have like you know, always oh, part of the NFL church or, or the NFL cult, and like or like the NFL pan- oh, pantheon. NFL pantheon. There's like, oh, all right, what? Okay, there okay. we go. NFL pantheon. No, no, you know what you could do? You could have like 
<clears throat> so different different groups fight. So maybe the baseball fans fight with the football fans, fight with the basketball fans. You oh, know? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, what yeah, would, so, what would be the other biggest sports in America? So like basketball is massive, American football and baseball. Would they be like the most American? I, I, of the I, would, sport? I would say so. Like hockey's yeah. up there, but it's not quite as big as as, as the yeah. big three football. <laughs> Football, football, basketball, baseball. That's probably the big three. Yeah, they would they would be the sports. I like whenever I think of America, they're like American sports to, in my mind. Anyway, you know, uh, I don't think of anywhere else that really does them. What would you do with Pennsylvania? Because Pennsylvania to me is just like a farming state, but it's kind of the same. It would be it's a huge have- like automation farm area. Like there's this is yeah. basically being used to farm. But would it just be the same as like Ohio then? Because like Pennsylvania, well, yeah. So Ohio, there there, there will be states where there, so there will be states where they're just being used to make food. Like I, yeah. I, I would say that they probably have designated states where it's big open grassland and prairie is being used to either herd or farm and feed the wildlife. Yeah. yeah, and I couldn't think of much else to be doing with them. If I be honest with you, what would you do? What would what would Washington be like? What would you do with like the st- with capital? So, I don't even know. Who oh, I think D- oh, D- D- DC, D- you mean Washington DC? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It'd be like the old remnants of the old government. Like it'd be a huge wasteland where like the old government couldn't make it, and like you basically would see the ruins. It'd be like going into like Rome. Like the, the the place of it of an old of an old old empire, you know, it'd be, it'd be dead. <laughs> you know, it'd be like you would see like the White House ruins and the and the giant uh, monument fucking. Oh, in the, in the you sky. know, you know what you need to put in. You need to put in the Keanu Shaman as a character there. The what? That tells the Q, you remember the guy in like. January oh, 2nd? The, he's not the Q, he's not the QAnon shaman. He's just a dude well, that's, in a hat. Well, that's what people called him, right? That's 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 what people knew him as online. So yeah, we're gonna. I think you have to put him as a, like a tour guide. Or maybe like a he tour, teaches yeah. the old he teaches the wisdom of the Let old me world. Tell you know? you the old ways of these United States. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And oh and on his position. Yes. No, we have to put that in. Definitely. Maybe he's got like a quote unquote magic item. The ancient uh the ancient log book or the top of Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> yeah, tell me that's not that, that's good. That's going in. I don't care. That's definitely Long going in. Ago, there were three bodies that controlled the world. I like, feel like the Great Lakes need to be destroyed in some way. The Great Lakes? Yeah, I feel like more you know, like the like, Great you... Lake. <laughs> it's just one giant body of water. Yeah. Well, what do you call them? Like what? Well, that. The well, that, and it all depends on yeah. what causes the the and do do air quotes here cataclysm. You know, it needs to be toxic or poisoned in some way. I, I want it to dry up personally. I would like it to have dried up, but I don't know how. I'm not sure on how to, how to go about that. But they need to be destroyed. I, I, like, what do you call that one in Russia? Like, Ariel? Do you remember that one? Do what? Um, I'll show you. The, um, yeah, this is the one. Uh, so this is it in Russia, where they like it dried up so they did, because they were like using it for fucking... Ar- the Ariel, see, that's it. Oh, Arl. the Ural. Okay, got you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Aural. Aural seed. Aural, okay, yeah, yeah. They're using it for, for something? Yeah, what did they use it for? Uh, third largest league in the world. The Aral Sea began shrinking in the 1960s after the liveries that fed it uh, were used for irrigation for, by the Soviets. Oh, right, so they used it for... There we go. That's all you need to do. Yes. How about this? So um, oh, you guys are already yeah. talking about that. They're, they're, so you they're, guys... they're draining the Great Lakes to, this, to, to, feed, to feed the farms. Yeah. So we could dry, dry up the lakes. We could use that to like feed. Like, sure. Do they not want to do that anyway and give it to like California? Mm. Do they not? Like, I'm pretty sure you guys are they're trying to do that now anyway. So like that would be a good way to like filter out the lakes in some way. They need to be like barren uh, mm. or at least like close to non-existent. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I guess f- dried up as you possibly can within reason. So that will be the way. It's ma- You know, the worst thing is it all, all this shit already exists. Like it's already happened. Like you know, we're talking about this as if it's like a weird dystopian setting. But like most people <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. already has been. It's like oh my god, what have we done? Um, what else do you want to go with this? So what about ve- like you know? Now I've already got most of the basic vehicles. I've done all that sort of stuff. Um, classes we could go with that. Um, honestly, no, I'm going to make this work, so I'm, we're going to make this work. <laughs> so what I want to do is with Burger Punk, I think I'm going to split it into two books, so I am. So it would be the setting book, mm-hmm. and then it would be the rule book. The reason why I would split it into two is because I'm sure most people would want to just play this using Cyberpunk instead, you know, because you really could just use Cyberpunk. You rule. could, yeah. I mean, unless you want to yeah. do a unique rule set, and we could do that. You yeah, could, well, yeah. I will. I will we'll do. The, I, I want to do the rule set, so I do, but also do the setting book. But like, we'll have them as like 
separate entities. Does that make any sense? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, it's just so easier for people. But that would be about it, you know? Mm. Uh, like, the little book would have all the, like, monster stat blocks and everything else. Um, but, like, if people were only interested in the set, and they could just go ahead and it would have, like, a big, huge hex map and whatnot, you know? Uh, I think this could. I think we can make this work. Is anything else worth bringing up before we wrap up, or is there anything? Uh, I mean, we're going to be clearly working on it. So, I mean, that's about it. I'm, I, I, I want to make this happen. I am. I'm sick of talking about this because every few months, it get it, the idea comes into my head, and I get really excited over it. And then it's like, oh no, I've got other shit I need to get done as well. But see, at this point, I'm like, no, it is happening. I want it to happen. I don't care anymore. This this needs to be the case. You know. <laughs> No, I no, I need. I want it done. I want it done, and I'm I'm sick of fucking talking about it. You know, like that, we'll finish up major cities. What we would do in Miami? Old people would old people still be there? It would be like a huge like ancient commune of like elders <laughs> or some or yeah. some shit. Uh, Washington pan the walls being a lid. It was great. Yeah, Washington needs to be like a wreck ruin of a city. It needs to be literally Fallout Three. That's what that's what I would mm. go for with it. Literally Fallout Three for Washington, New York, Escape from New York, Houston and Dallas. What would you do with them too, actually? Uh, Houston and Dallas. If then the both major cities, it would either be taken over by. I mean, hold on. Oh, Dallas. what about Elon? Where, where's Elon? Is he in? He's in Houston, isn't he? Yeah. Probably no. So. Elon could take a huge city, and then, like, the NFL Colts could take fucking Dallas, probably. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. Atlanta mumble up. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. Just get me just kind of mumblers. Like, the language yeah. has been so fucking overtaken by mumbling, they can't really, like, understand each other. Yeah. What would you do with, like, okay, so California, so the big cities, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego. <laughs> hmm, I don't know, man. I don't, really, I, I don't know what I want to do with California. Like, just sink it into the sea. Let it be, like, a warning of, like, what happened. Maybe it's, like, a refugee center of sorts. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I think you can make it, like, definitely you have to have some for a tech capital. You know, maybe maybe one of the cities, like, Silicon Valley has been overtaken by little Android, androids totally not related to Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, my God. Yes, they all have. They all look at they're, 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 all, all, they're all Mark Zuckerberg, yes. yeah. Yeah, so all the androids, they all have to look like Mark Zuckerberg. That's exactly what it needs to be. That's that. That's how you identify. Maybe there was, like, laws put in for, like, oh, my God, think of the Mark Zuckerberg sex robots. Oh, sweet Jesus, no. Is it sex robots? <laughs> yeah, well, you got to put in the sex Why, robots. Why, Nick you know? Why? <laughs> yeah, all with Mark Zuckerberg's face and personality. Uh, Los Angeles, what would you have to do with that? I don't know. I think Los Angeles had to, has to be wiped off the map in some way. But they've already, we've already wiped off. New well, York. thing is, oh, thing is, Los Washington. Angeles. If it doesn't get water. It's going to dry up. Mm, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be basically be, 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 be a city of, of broken teeth in the sky because yeah. it'll just, it'll just dry up. Yeah. What, what do you want to do, in San Francisco? Then destroy it. Yeah. I w- yeah, I think so. Uh, Las Vegas, honestly, just keep it the same. I would just keep it the exact same. Nothing changed, bar like minuscule things. And Seattle would just be like its own independent city state, but it still relies on everywhere else. Just keep it fed. But like, oh, so, like, you mean like how it is now? Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Seattle likes to. It, it, we're gonna make it so like the city likes to LARP as if it's like a free independent city state, where in fact it really is not. You know, and maybe like you know it gets nothing but aid, but like we're gonna have to put like oligarchs in charge that just like filter all the money to their own pockets in some weird way yeah, shape yeah. or form um, again no some, change in reality something that also I would like to put in like what what would be the deal with Canada and Mexico Mexico yeah, the wall has to be built it has to be it literally no it needs to be Game of Thrones tier wall that's what ha- needs to happen <laughs> the giant wall of sand Yes, no, it needs to be like huge. It needs to be ridiculous. Like, I'm talking like maybe a kilometer high. Um, what did you call this wall? We call it humongous. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> that, and we need to have like watchtowers along it. Oh, and you know what else it needs to have? It needs to have like automatic machine guns that are constantly firing at all any given time, every five foot. Like, like AI robot guns is mo- like yes. brown detected. <laughs> <laughs> or yes. some shit. Yeah. yes, it needs to be skin tone detected. Oh my god, that's perfect. Oh my god. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> now, what what do you want to do with Canada then? It's this, this giant Android 2 brown. <laughs> Most of yeah. the family. No, it, needs, it, it needs to be the, uh, the, the um, what do you call it, the family guy uh, meme. You know, oh yeah, a little, little card, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, that's exactly what needs to be done. Uh, what would you want to do with Canva? I don't know what, like, 
I'm not sure what we could do with it, if I'd be honest with you. Extreme isolationist. Yeah, maybe they just like all went north and no one really knows. Maybe like all the lands abandoned. Yeah. Like anything, and they all just went north to kind of escape America, maybe. I don't know. And then the other thing would be like Alaska. Maybe Alaska's like dying. Alaska has, for better, lack of a better word, fallen. Like maybe it's just went silent and there's no contact to <laughs> with Alaska. Sir, Alaska has fallen. Could you find yeah. It? Is it Japanese now? How? <laughs> oh, well, you know what you could do? Actually, no, Alaska, you could argue it's it's part of the uh, totally not stalker Russia. Because again, like, you know, it, look, it makes sense for like, if, if Russia was to invade, especially via land, it's the closest point. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like, if you wanted to, like, I don't think Russia would invade via uh, Alaska personally, but like, let's just say it's all radioactive wasteland, you know? It's just a place where people run away, f- like, you know, people go to hide, maybe. I think we can make all this work. Honestly, Garb, it's happening. Like, that's where we're going to finish up the video. Uh, where Is there anything else you want to bring up at all? No? Nope. So next project guaranteed. <laughs> So, no, I'm doing it. No, I'm yeah, doing so, it. Yeah, so so I guess we're gonna put uh, the the umbral uh, thing aside and just do burger pound and get it done. Yeah, I I really want to get this done. So I really want to get this done. All the hmm, oh fuck, I really want that. How fast do you reckon we could do uh, totally null shadow Moses? Like realistically, if we're hanging out. I think we should just focus on this project because you won't know for a while. It's probably our oldest idea we have so far. Umbral umbral's going to be easy to do. But we should just focus on this uh, burger pound. You Boy, sure, Nick? Yeah, I'm sure. Right. Okay. Well, then, um, I'll I'll need to work out how many. If you can work out, if you're able to like bang out maybe like ten hexes a day, which would be like maybe like twenty paragraphs, if even. I'm thinking like each hex is like two paragraphs. You know, mm-hmm. it, it, and each like you know it's a hundred miles squared, so you can literally do anything. But they're mostly like plot hooks than anything. Yeah. Uh, you know, like it's hex map for God's sake. You know what I mean? Um, I think we could definitely make this work. And I've already got a ton of stuff here already that will work. I just need a, the the thing that would take the the biggest problem for me is working out the see prices for shit. I'm horrible at that. And see, like just making like random like mundane items. Like it's just such a nightmare. Like, see, how do you think of all that stuff? It's it just goes. It's a never-ending list of just random shit. Do you well, know what I, I mean, mean, things that matter, we can bring a list because don't no 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 stat of Twinkie for God's sake. Like, stat well, this hammer. Twinkie. No. Well, Twinkie, you could just do as like a basic one hit point sort of like you know, it's just health. You know what I mean? That's all it needs to be. It doesn't need to be anything fancier than that. Yeah. And then when it comes to like weapons, we could just go with like modern day weapons and slightly sci-fi esque for the for lack of a better word like for the most part they're modern day but maybe you can throw in some like real guns maybe like what would be the most advanced weaponry that you can think of i don't know i mean i i i kind of work best when like actually doing it so like i can't say what i can i can't do because i don't know yet (laughs) like yeah we'll just find out well i've got i've got rules for tons of this stuff anyway Hmm. so um, I'll, I'll make a new document and we'll just start again because I I need to split it so I do because the way this document is at the minute I just look at it and it's so unwieldy it's like so fucking big yeah. and it's just so like oh my god what oh it's so much like that's what we're gonna do like guys hope you guys enjoyed this one um, check out Garbling stuff uh, all that's linked to the VL layers you can check that out me and him are working on an adventure don't know when that's gonna be yeah. <laughs> I've, got, I've got excited I'm sorry eventually <laughs> Eventually, um, Bastard Princess, it's completely free. Same with the Quick Start rules, completely free. Uh, same with Death March, completely free. Which Cyberpunk will be based off of? Cyberpunk will be, be- uh, sorry, Cyberpunk will be based off of Death March. So if you want to get a taste of what the actual like combat will be, go ahead, download that. It's completely f- for the Lulu price of fuck all. For the Lulu price of thirty seconds, it takes you to click on the website and download it. That's all it takes. You know what I mean? And there you go. Um, I don't know. Is there anything else worth bringing up now? Nope, I don't think so. No, I can't think of anything. Um, Dagger Triggers coming soon, hopefully. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, also, if you get upset about the Dagger Triggers, you can suck my deck. That's all I can say. Uh, I, I can already feel like there's probably going to be a lean about the Dagger Triggers, but honestly, it's just a parody of like modern like state of fucking... So like, if you get mad at it, you're only proving our point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like honestly, it's more of a parody than anything. You literally you know? fell for our trap card, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you actually made trap card. Anyway, hope you guys Sorry, enjoyed this. Sorry, you're gay. <laughs> also, if you have any ideas for Burger Punk, 
leave them in the comments because I'll probably put them in. If you have any ideas that you would think, oh, mate, that sounds so cool. We need to do that. Oh, that sounds so cool. We need to do that. Just let us know. Just let us know in the comments and we'll see. Maybe it ends up in. Who knows? Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let us know what you think down below and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>